Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this late Wednesday night, almost 10 o'clock. Rain has finally come to an end. We're looking at uh, dry skies in Providence right now. Uh, temperatures are well above freezing, but what we'll watch for overnight towards daybreak, it may take a while for the pavement to completely dry off. And with temperatures perhaps near freezing by daybreak, could be a little bit of uh, at least isolated black ice. So be mindful of that if you're heading out very early in the morning. So on our threat tracker overnight through daybreak, we'll keep it low, but just be mindful that there may be some icy spots, some black ice. Uh, towards or just before sunrise. Overall, your Thursday looks good. We're in a pinpoint weather alert for Friday, specifically Friday morning. Uh, morning snow likely a moderate snowfall, unfortunately, for the morning commute. Generally, a, a three to five inch snowfall, but it wouldn't surprise me if there were some isolated six inch amounts. And, and lousy timing here as far as the morning commute on Friday, though. Uh, the afternoon and evening and, and Friday night is is looking better. So there's a winter storm watch in effect late Thursday night, meaning well after midnight into daybreak Friday, Friday morning up until about noon. A moderate snowfall. Feel as though there's enough snow to shovel and plow and, and bring out the snowblowers and things like that. All right, here's the timeline for Friday. We're going to jump ahead here. The snow beginning during the pre-dawn hours, starting around just after 3 o'clock in the morning. It's a steady accumulating snow for the morning commute at the height of the morning commute. So poor travel, slow morning commute, uh, winding down, drying out by mid-afternoon on Friday, clearing, windy, and colder uh, Friday evening and Friday night. Rain that we had today, it continues to slide away, still clipping um, uh, the lower Cape and Islands at almost uh, 930 this evening. Here's the wider view, and, and we do have um, drying and some clearing off to our west, and this is the dry air that will settle in uh, during the uh, overnight hours. Take a look at the wider view and show you some of the pieces of the puzzle that will come together. There's energy within the jet stream. It's diving out of the Rockies right in here, those yellow arrows, and, and what that will do is help to initiate a storm across the south, and then this will... Uh, track uh, north and east and off our coastline and give us that accumulating snow on Friday morning. So that's what it looks like right now. When we take this into the future, and you can see there's that low pressure coming out of the southeast, and here it is on um, well, Thursday night at 11 o'clock. It's still to our south, so we are dry. But during the pre-dawn hours, you can see that shield of snow overspreading the area. This is around 3, 4 in the morning. The, the storm is just offshore. How close or far away from the coastline will dictate the amount of snow, but we're going with a general three to five inches at this point. Of course, we have all of Thursday to kind of analyze new data coming in. So you want to check back with us. This is nine o'clock in the morning, still snowing, but watch how rapidly it pulls away by afternoon and evening. So it's a quick hitter. You know, the bulk of the snow is roughly four in the morning until about 10 a.m. On, um, on Friday morning. So let's jump ahead to uh, your Thursday morning, which is fairly quiet. Looking at um, sunshine. And again, take note of how the temperature is near the freezing mark near sunrise. So if there's any damp roads left over, there may be some patchy black ice. So be mindful of that f uh, 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. But we'll get above freezing. We'll top out in the upper 30s to low 40s. Breezy, cool, and dry day. There's the afternoon. It's, it's looking pretty good. And then the landscape changes <laughs> completely here on um on Friday. This is Friday morning, perhaps your backyard. Uh, general, a general three to five inches. Now that'll be realized by noon Friday, but it'll accumulate during the morning. And while we're going with three to five, you know, an isolated six inch amount wouldn't surprise me. So we would certainly classify this as a as a moderate snowfall. Here's a different look at the accumulation forecast generally statewide of of a three to five inches. And um, of course, poor travel early in the morning on Friday and gradually improving by mid-afternoon and into a Friday evening. So, again, a decent day coming up on Thursday. Just watch for perhaps a little patchy black ice towards uh, sunrise. Uh, general moderate snowfall of 3 to 5 inches with a high impact on the Friday morning commute. Could be a, an isolated 6-inch amount. And then uh, things improving by late Friday afternoon and Friday evening. All right, that's your latest weather now uh, update. Uh, certainly check back in uh, early in the morning starting at 4.30 a.m. on 12 News with meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. All right, thanks for logging in.